Hey everybody, Jill from Two Dogs Media. I want to walk you through a tutorial I did on how to assign custom colors to the color settings area in Gutenberg. So right now in Gutenberg, this is the 2020 theme, and you can see we have preset colors, uh, red, black, gray, light gray, and white. These are not my brand colors. So anytime I would have to add text or want to do a background color, I would have to do custom color and then enter a hex value, or I can choose willy-nilly random from here. And I don't want to do that because it won't keep my colors consistent, and it's also not using my brand colors. So what this tutorial is going to show you um, is how to follow along with the post that we did so that you can add your own custom colors colors and your own custom gradients if you choose to use gradients. So here is the post that we did. Okay, so it's saying Gutenberg default color palette examples. So this is an example of the Astro theme. By default, you'll get all these different colors in your color settings. Okay. This is the 2020 theme, which we just showed you live. So you can see you get a few different colors here and you can use that option. Now we're going to edit the solid color palette option. So we're going to change these so that you permanently have whatever your brand colors are. So for Two Dogs Media, our brand colors are as follows. Dark blue, light blue, green, and orange. Those are our primary colors. Of course, we have font colors. They're black, um, might be a light gray. But typically our font colors are controlled either through um, if you have some kind of element or functionality or something like that, or if you your style sheet will typically use it. Um, I don't use any drag and drop builders, so my black is based off of whatever's in my style sheet. Um, you can add a black in your brand colors if you want, if you have a specific black that you use that you want to use as a background sometimes. Um, but again, it's whatever colors you need to add. So this below is the functions code that you will need to add. So all you need to do is copy the function hit control C and then we're going to go over to the function file okay and every site should have a th function file do not be afraid of it but all you have to do is scroll right to the bottom so just go right to the bottom whatever that last line is and then paste okay so a little bit about what you need to change here okay in our instructions I think I was pretty clear Okay, so you're going to change the name. Anything in red is what you're going to want to change. So say your main, one of your colors is red. You're going to put red. Then the slug is going to be red. Then the color is going to be pound and whatever the hex value of your red is. You're going to do this for each of the different colors. So light blue, light dash blue. If it's a two word color, you need to use a dash in between. Okay, and then the hex color. So in here, once you paste, once you paste it in, change your color name, change the slug to the color name, and if it's more than one word, add a dash, and then change your hex value to whatever the hex value of your color is. Okay, Your theme name, you can put your theme name in here. It doesn't matter. You can leave it. You can change it. Um, some uh, some themes use this, some don't. Most of the time it doesn't, so it should be fine if you don't want to change that, so don't worry about it. Add theme support is the important part because that's saying, okay, theme, add these colors to my editor color palette so I can use them. So this line is very important. And this is just a function and the function is kind of activating everything. Um, usually functions, every function you have on your website is going to have a different name. You can change my theme um, to something else if you want, or you can just leave it alone. Um, if you're not super experienced, I would say just leave it as it is. So the only things you absolutely have to change are the name, the slug, and the color. Okay, so once that's done, you can click update file. This function is only going to give you what you need to be able to add the colors from the admin side. Okay, we have another step that we have to do to get it sh to show on the front end. Okay, so now we have color palette editing, samples of custom as backgrounds. So what I'm going to do is dark blue, light blue, orange, and green. Okay. Okay. okay, now dark blue, I can go to my color settings, and there's my colors. So I can do my background color, dark blue, okay, light blue, I'm going to do this one as orange. I'm going to do this one as green. If I change my mind, I can just click clear and I can do a custom color if I wanted to. Okay. But I don't. So we're going to leave it as green. Okay. And then we'll click update. 
But now watch what happens when I go to the actual page on the website. Okay, you can see the colors do not show up here. Okay, so that's the next step. So sample of custom colors as text. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to show you dark blue, light blue, green, and orange. So let's do this color settings, dark blue. And you guys, I don't know if you realize, you can actually change the text from here as well. Just another option. Um, the only difference here is you have to actually highlight it. So if you want to do it that way, if it's better for you, you can do it that way. Um, green text and orange text. Oh, that one didn't go for me. Let's just do it this way, light blue. Oh, I chose the background color, text color. Okay, so again, there's my colors. If I click update, I go to the page and okay. samples of custom colors as text, those did not work, okay? Because we have to now tell our style sheet that, hey, we have some color things going on that we really need to address. So if you go to our post, we also gave you okay, the style sheet. So now you got your function set up. Okay, now we have to create your CSS support. Okay, this is the code for the CSS. So we're going to take this. Okay. We're in our style sheet. And again, go straight to the bottom, copy and paste it in here. Okay, now you'll notice there's two different things here. One says has dark blue background color, and one says has dark blue color. This signifies the background color. This signifies the text color. Okay, so if you want to use background colors, you have to do a blue background color, and then this is just for text color. Okay, I'm going to actually delete this and use, because I did all this so I didn't have to waste time on the video. So these are all my colors. Okay, we're going to put this here. Okay, so there's my dark blue, my light blue, my orange, and my green, all background. There's my dark blue, light blue, orange, and green for my text. Again, for every color you add, you should have two lines of CSS, one for the background, one for the color. All you have to change, this should be whatever your slug was in your function. Okay, now if I click Update and go to my post, and there you go. So there's my backgrounds and there's my text. And that's it. We just added custom solid colors. If you want to deactivate the ability, if I go back to my post and say you are in charge of um, a website and you've got a staff that actually updates it, but you don't want them to have the ability to use custom colors. Okay, if I go here and I go to color settings, I still have the ability to do custom colors. Okay, so I might have somebody who puts in like a purple that has nothing to do with my brand. You can see I have a dark, the purple there and has nothing to do with my brand. You can turn this off. Okay, and if you go to the post that we wrote, you can disable the color picker by just adding this into the function file. Theme editor, so we're going to leave and I'll show you what that looks like. Theme functions. And again, this was tested on Astra, it was tested on Genesis, and the 2020, and everything worked fine. So if you're having issues with any of the code that you've been provided, you could reach out. We can try and troubleshoot it for you for a nominal fee, um, but it should work with no problems. So now we disabled the color custom color ability, and if I click on this now, you'll see the custom color link is gone, and that's all there is. The final option that we wanted to give you is gradient custom colors. So in 5.4, they actually added a really cool button block now. So when I add a button, okay, you can see I can have my background color, my font color changed, but there's also an option now for gradients. Okay, so when you click on gradients, you've got all these standard gradients, and every theme is going to come with different gradients, just like the colors. So the gradients that are available in this 2020 theme might be different than what's in Astra or Genesis. So these don't really match my 
branding, so I want to add a custom gradient. So it's really the exact same thing. You're going to add the function, which is right here, appearance theme editor, leave. Okay, we go right down to the bottom. I just like to add a few spaces. So add theme support, editor gradient presets. So we're adding editor gradient presets to our theme. And then it's the same thing. You're going to change the name. So for this gradient, I'm doing dark blue to green. And then the linear gradient, you can copy this code and leave it alone. The only things you have to change are the numerical values. Okay, and there should be three numbers. Okay, this is for the opacity. Okay, and these three numbers will signify what the color is. So these are called RGB values, and you can use, um, I gave you a link within the post where you can find here a tool like this one, and it'll give you the RGB for your hex value. So just type in your hex value, you get your RGB, which will be three numbers, and you just replace these numbers. And this is my other gradient, orange to green. And again, just change your numbers. And then change your numbers and you can play around if you feel like it this is giving it a degree radius 100 percent but you don't really need to and i'll show you why in a second um, so this is added and then while we're here we'll do the same thing we did before because we also have to again do our style sheet so the only difference with this is we're not using gradients for text so the only gradient you really need remember for solid you needed a CSS line for both text and background color. You do not need that for this. You only need the background color. So you can see it has dark blue to green is the slug that we added in the function. Orange to green is the slug we added to the function for the other color. Okay, But this is going to be all the same. The linear gradient is exactly the same as what's in your theme function. So that could just be copied over. Update file. Now, if I go to my posts, I should only see two gradients in there. Okay, so now let's add our button. And so now I want to do a gradient, and these are my two gradients. Okay, so now I got a blue and green, or my orange and green. And if you're still not happy and you wanted to do something different, you can still play around. These are still in effect. Okay, you can even do a circular, radial, okay, you can do a different angle, okay. But I don't know if you'd want to do this because you want your branding. You want all your buttons to be the same and have that really strong branding. So just like with the default colors for the text, you can actually disable this as well. Okay, so if I do control C, I'm going to update this. And just remember what this looks like here. I'm going to actually disable all that now. We're going to go to Theme Editor, Functions, and one, two, add Theme Super to disable custom gradients. And then we'll go back to our post. And now if we go to that button, Okay, we've got our orange and green, and you can see all the options are away. So now I'm giving whoever's managing my website or adding content, this is all they can use. They can use this, or they can use this, and that is it. And that's it. So that's everything you need to add custom gradients and custom colors to your color settings in your Gutenberg block. Any questions, as always, just let me know, and I'll try and help the best I can. Thanks, guys. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.